Hi, I'm vegan. <laughs> and I would say I follow a pretty average vegan diet. But when I first went vegan, I took to the internet to find out what is the best vegan diet. And obviously I was met with a lot of results. And so over the next five days, I'm gonna be eating five different vegan diets to find out which is the best diet. So on day one, we started off with the raw food vegan diet, which was very popular on social media and pretty much is just eating raw food, obviously. But we were off to an awful start when we looked out the window this morning and it was snowing. Like it's snowing. Cold food on a cold day is not something that is particularly sounding enjoyable. So for breakfast, I think breakfast is going to be like the easiest thing today because it's like just like a smoothie type thing. I still have all of my stuff in the bags because I couldn't be bothered to take them out. <laughs> um, but I've literally never bought as many bananas as I did just then. I just didn't know what was raw and what was not raw. I would like to quickly interject and say that it is harder than it sounds to find out what is raw and what is not raw. So... Is peanut butter raw? No, I don't think it is. Is peanut butter raw? That is a good question. Do I have a smoothie in smoothie form? Maybe I have it in smoothie form because I can't bother to... Oh no, but that's less like douche, isn't it? Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Why is there a sponsor on the floor? This feels a bit weird because it's like, there's a lot of the same thing. Like, I don't know how many bananas I have in here in total. I think I have like five. Five, I think I, think I put four in and then one on top. I don't know. This smoothie bowl is also already proving an issue. Okay, so I've definitely just got like a wave of hunger. Like I was doing well, but then all of a sudden, please don't tell me you've frozen. I just got really, really hungry really, really soon. So I'm gonna have like a massive salad. Ah. Key component to the salad are lettuce, avocado, cucumber. Wait, no, basically lettuce and cucumber, like the, ma <clears throat> the main thing. But I really wanna make sure that I'm getting enough energy in today because I don't wanna get really tired. And I know this is gonna be really voluminous. Vol Ah. So I'm gonna have a whole avocado and I'm gonna like mash it up and try and make it into like a bit of a sauce Not a sauce, but like a dressing and then I'm gonna smother it with hemp seeds Hemp seeds are just the thing that all raw vegans have So I'm gonna have them because they're really high in fat and protein and I'm very aware of the fact that raw veganism is very very like carb heavy So I want to make sure I'm getting in like everything that I need so yeah That looks like a bit aggressive. I think I need a different one. Oh my god. Like three tablespoons-ish. Oh no, have I just lost an, I've just lost, okay. Okay, so here's the final product. Mm, I'm not it. <laughs> I'm hungry already. The time is two. And so, so far I'm not feeling particularly satisfied by my meals. So I'm having some dates. Well, mm. Now I'm not gonna lie, I literally love dates and I could eat them every single day, but they are really expensive, which is why I don't, but this snack was great and they did tie me over to dinner. So I'm gonna make raw sushi for dinner and I have looked it up and I'm pretty sure tahini is raw. So actually, even if it's not, I'm gonna make something with tahini and lemon and stuff, because otherwise it's gonna be like so dry and I see we ate. So we're gonna make sushi. I've got the sushi seaweed which is raw and then instead of rice i'm gonna do cauliflower rice which i'm not the biggest fan of i'm actually not that hungry to be fair i ate quite a lot of those dates maybe one of them was moldy though look at this this is so gross i'm biting into my dates willy-nilly having a great time and i bit into one of them do you see where that is black on the inside mold disgusting um anyway let's go make some sushi Okay, so as I literally just said, I use cauliflower rice instead of rice to make the sushi, which as you can see is a little bit squishy. The texture was well off, but you know what? It actually kind of works. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's leaking! Uh, what, don't take it out. <laughs> So I made like quite a few little cones because I don't have sushi mats, so they had to be a cone. And then I made like a little tahini dressing with lemon salt and pepper. I don't know if it's raw, but it is what it is. The lighting is so bad, but I've come to my room, which is why. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I couldn't, I've decided that tahini is raw. <laughs> That's really not that bad. Lacking in a bit of texture though from the cauliflower. It's not that bad at all. Quite enjoyable, really. 
It wouldn't be a vegan YouTube video without the mention of the famous vegan YouTuber Freely the Banana Girl and her Raw Till 4 diet. Now the basic principles of the Raw Till 4 diet are pretty self-explanatory. You're allowed raw foods only until 4 p.m. Then after 4 p.m. you're allowed a very high carb, very low fat cooked vegan meal. <clears throat> because I'm doing Raw Till 4, I feel like it's only right that I go like massive banana smoothie because this is very like Freely the Banana Girl diet. You know, she loves a banana and date smoothie so I'm gonna have like a fat banana date smoothie. <laughs> a six banana smoothie. I feel like she normally does like 10, but I only have like six and like one other, well I have like seven, but um, I don't know, I wanna save that just in case I fancy it later, you know? So we're having a huge smoothie. Bit concerned about my digestion, but we move. Jesus. Bloody better keep me full, I'm telling you. It just tastes like mashed banana. Is there really any point in me using this shot? Oh, <laughs> the one thing I've already noticed about the two massive smoothies I've had in the morning is I can literally feel them going down my digestive system. Like, I might, my stomach is literally like gets so confused. Like, I'm on glass two, I've still got like. You can't see it, but there's still like half the jug. Like I am worried about going to the toilet is basically what I'm saying. My digestive system knows I'm eating raw. <laughs> That's my update. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm really cold. I did just have a bit of a hot beverage, which I'm just gonna ignore. Pretend I didn't do that. We're raw till four today and it's and it's half one. So what am I gonna have, you ask? I'm gonna have, guess what? Another massive salad. Woo. I've got lettuce. I've got half an avocado because I actually ended up using only Oh, you said I ended up using an avocado and a half yesterday when I only wanted to use one so I could have another one today. Um, but I've got some of that tahini left over. Loads of hemp seeds again because we want to get those fats in. I have no cucumber so I'm going to put this half pepper. Here she is. Another day, another huge salad with little in it. But I'm not going to lie, I do like the hemp seeds and the avo. And the tahini this time, so... I can't really complain too heavily. Okay, so I absolutely polished off this salad. It was so good. And then afterwards I had a couple mangoes. For dinner I had a big bowl of wedges, but they aren't cooked in oil because raw till four means you don't have oil in the evening. And so they obviously don't look as good as they would do if I had oil. They all got stuck to the pan and it was all a bit of a shambles, but it was so good to be eating cooked food again, like warm food, it was really good. Okay, so on day three, I ate a whole food vegan diet, but my camera cropped it, and so I lost the majority of the footage. So you're gonna have to imagine me eating a bowl of porridge and also imagine me eating another salad. But the salad was slightly better this day because it had some quinoa and had some tempeh and it had some whole grains in it, which were way more filling and it was very good. Okay, so it's dinner on day, day is it? It's three. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda can't be bothered to cook, but we're gonna, we're gonna persevere. Normally, I'm really, really lazy with my food, so I don't really cook. Not that I have really cooked, to be fair. I've been eating raw food, but like, I don't know. I'm usually just like a put something in the oven kind of girl at the moment. We're gonna make a katsu curry now. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled. Cause I was like, I don't know if everything's whole food. That sounds silly, but alas. It is all whole foods, bar the flour. Sometimes we just have to take these sacrifices and I couldn't work out what to have. So I'm gonna make a katsu curry with rice. I'm gonna put some tofu in it and some spinach and it's gonna be really good. And I'm actually really excited about it, but I can eat, be bothered to go make it. I'm gonna use the Wagamama's recipe that was, I've actually used before. It was released in like lockdown one, I think. Last year, bloody hell. So I'm gonna have that. Is the lighting really bad, you say? Yes. Here she is. It's like the one time that I'll actually eat rice. Not my preferred grain. Really, really didn't know. What the frick, a whole grain? I mean, technically this is white rice. So technically, not even sure it's whole grain. But we did. Tell you what, it feels good to eat like a nice meal rather than yesterday. Cause yesterday I was focused on like making sure that it was kind of like raw till four vibes, you know, like very, very carb heavy or like very potatoes, which was actually paying to be fair. But it felt good to be eating like a nice, well balanced, hearty meal. I'm gonna have this and I might finish it off with half a melon. Day four was the day I was most looking forward to. Day four is junk food vegan day and Quick disclaimer before I begin, I do not agree with the term junk food. If you've been around for a while, you know very much so that I do not agree with the term junk food. But this is the definition that came up when I was looking for different vegan diets. So a junk food vegan is a vegan who regularly consumes highly processed foods, which are primarily made in science labs. But for the most part, I've pretty much just taken this to mean the exact opposite of my whole foods day. <laughs> I'm making waffles. <laughs> I'm gonna have them with butter and maple syrup on top. And I'm so excited. Whoa. Yeah. Do not tell me that's not the best breakfast I've had this week. Don't really know how to eat it standing up. 
Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Can you focus on this, please? We have pot noodles straight from the pot. <laughs> Mm. It's actually not straight from the pot to be fair, it's straight from the pan. These actually cost me like 20p from Tesco's. They are the chicken flavor. Flager. Mm. Really do be hitting the spot. I use like the whole sachet though, but they're pouring reflection. I feel like it's just not like that much, maybe. Mm. So it's time for my first bit of chocolate. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but it's my first bit of chocolate. And I'm going to have this. Mm. Really perfect afternoon snack. With a tea? Bloody delicious. I'm having a crumpet. I'm having a crumpet with cream cheese and marmite. I'm very aware that crumpets don't really fall in this category, but I mean, it was just basically not fruit or veg, which is kind of how I'm taking this day. I'm really trying to fight back my tryptophobia with crumpets because I used to love crumpets so much and then I couldn't eat them for ages because of the holes. So I'm really like fighting back, sir. So. I'm actually so hungry today. My appetite. It's like quarter past five now. Um, but yeah, I'm really hungry, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I've ordered a burger, right? Um, from a vegan place. I'll show it to you in just a sec. Obviously, it's junk food day and I feel like I should get some some form of takeaway. Anyway, so I'm ordering this absolutely exceptional burger place. I've had it before. It's stone cold. Like, they are stone cold. Like, this is cold, cold. Like, it's just cold. Anyway, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to take a bite and then I'm going to put it in the oven and heat it up even though there is lettuce in here so that is disappointing but still good. I also got some fries and then I've got some mayonnaise upstairs. Gonna sit back, watch a film with my family and thoroughly enjoy myself. So day five and the final diet I will be following is... <laughs> oh that was so dramatic it pained me. My own diet is the diet I'm going to be following for the last day of the week. At the beginning of the video, I asked what is the best vegan diet? Reality is that's going to be different for literally every single person. And so for me, the best diet is a combination of every other day that we've had this week. It's really important to me to be able to follow a diet that is not restrictive, that doesn't have rules, and it allows me to eat what I want when I want it. This means incorporating all foods into my diet. So some days my food will probably look more like my Thursday, and some days my food will look more like my Tuesday. But most importantly, I'm happy regardless. 